Officials in Connecticut have asked scientists to study the DNA of the school shooter there for clues about mass murderers. Some scientists are asking if that's ethical. How about if it's idiotic? It's a perfect example of seeing everything as a nail because you happen to be holding a hammer. Because DNA was a great discovery doesn't make it the answer to everything. Scientists can be faddish too. One expert said mass killings are so far off the chart of normal there must be a genetic component or there must be too many guns lying around or too many violent games or not enough mental health services. There's always too many explanations for these events, not too few. It's clearly time for a backlash against genomics. A new book called uh, Gene Cell Brain does that. It could have been called, if you've got a lemon, make lemonade or just make money. Far too much has been invested in genome mapping not to try peddling it for every possible use. The overreach makes genetics start sounding weirdly like eugenics a hundred years ago, or phrenology, uh, the idea that skull shape determines everything. If you want to see how wacky that got, don't miss Leonardo DiCaprio as the slave owner in Django Unchained. For the Star.com, I'm Rick Salute.